is Pierre. I'm a Canadian, but I'm living in Kuwait and I really enjoy cycling. And I want to share with you uh, tips and tricks for cycling, but you know, things that cannot be found uh, easily on YouTube. I know there's many YouTube uh, videos about maintenance uh, of bikes and, and how to you know, take good care of them. So I'll try to be a bit more original, but we'll see. We'll see in the end what comes out. Um, today, I want to talk about uh, chain loops. Um, there is a huge trend now to, uh, to uh, let's say, swap the traditional oil uh, lubes or even dry lubes to uh, waxes. Um, and I tried this myself um, and I think, you know, I moved from away from this uh, Mokoff, sorry, the labels in German, but Mokoff uh, dry lube, which was for me very good. Normally I ride roughly 15,000 kilometers a year, uh, so more than 300 kilometers a week. And uh, uh, it's been doing very well. I kept my chain last year measuring it regularly to see if it was like stretched and there was no issue after 15,000 K, which I think is very good. Of course, Kuwait is beautiful weather, sunny, but it can get a little bit dusty or sandy, but nothing sticks too much uh, to this uh, Mokov dry lube, which is, I think is very good, but it's a bit thin and it wears off easily. And also the chain gets gunky. And when I looked at videos related to um, uh, wax, wax, uh, waxes for the chains, I found that, you know, they keep the, the drivetrain cleaner and nothing sticks to it. So lately I've been experimenting with the Silka uh, super secret um, uh, lube, uh, chain lube. Um, and um, I have very good results so far. It's been probably like two months, so more than 2000 kilometers. I'm quite happy with the results. My chain's always clean. My main issue is um, how to reapply uh, this uh, uh, liquid. So this is a drip uh, lube, so it's liquid, so you can apply it to your, to your chain. You don't have to immerse, you remove your chain and immerse it in a bath. And I asked the company, you know, at what interval I should add some more. And they said roughly around 250 miles. So for me, it's about a week. So I have to add it weekly. And I'll show you uh, how it's kind of messy when you want to add it. And I think I found a way uh, to make it much easier. So I hope by sharing that with you, it's something you can do as well and make the process a little bit uh, painless. All right, so let's get to it. Sorry, I live in an apartment, so you'll see uh, I'm in the living room right now. I'm sure many of you have to maintain your bike in uh, similar conditions. So now my cassette is about, I would say, a thousand kilometers since I cleaned it and the chain probably like 400 kilometers. And as you can see, it's very, very, very clean still. The wax is doing an amazing job, but keeping everything clean. So all the drivetrain is very, very nice. Uh, so what I would do normally is uh, to um, just wipe it off uh, with a little bit of alcohol on a, on a rag and just remove any dirt or any uh, dust that would be on the chain before I would reapply uh, the wax seal. But you can see 400K and there's nearly nothing my finger normally it used to be quite black even with dry lube okay so what I do is uh, take just some uh, alcohol and just uh, spray it on the rag and with this I will just wipe the chain it goes around trying to remove everything that is on the surface so that uh, it's clean. So when I apply a new coat of wax, it doesn't bring this uh, dirt inside. Okay. So it did get some, uh, some dirt off. Um, so, so far so good. I mean, uh, now the surface is uh, a bit cleaner. Um, there's less residue on the chain. You can also 
wipe uh, the sides of the chain, so the plates on the side to try to clean them as well. But then the messy part comes. This is where, uh, so I'm, I'm going to use now this uh, Silka Super Secret uh, Chain Lube. Of course, you have to, uh, there is some uh, particles of uh, tungsten uh, disulfide in it. This kind of gives this this uh, black color. And now I have to apply it to the, to the links and uh, hope you will be able to see. Uh, basically, you apply them, let's say, to the links. The problem is that because the chain is waxed, I don't know if you can see, but most of it will just drip around. So if I look at, show you, it doesn't really go into it. It just drips and it just gets around the links and not inside the links from what I can see anyway. So what you have to do and what they, they recommend is that you massage the wax uh, through the links a bit like this so that it can get in. Um, hopefully <laughs> so I think this process is for me not very uh, convenient and I find that it's I'm, I'm not sure about the results so what I've decided to do is to um, use a a chain cleaning tool so this is a cyclone made by Park Tool which in my opinion is one of the best chain cleaning tool you can get so I cleaned it all to try to remove all the uh, oil or grease that was in there from previous uh, usage, of course. And what I'm doing now is, I will be doing is filling this until this fill line uh, with the wax so that I can turn the chain and gradually incorporate the wax into the different links. And because there's a little uh, sponge here at the end, I hope that it will catch, you know, most of the wax that has not gone through the links and will keep it in the chamber and the brushes will actually just try to massage the wax inside. So by using this, I hope it will be better than, you know, trying to apply one drop per link and try to massage it because it's just, it just disappears. It just wants to go away. It's here you have it. This is the the chain cleaning uh, cyclone with the wax inside and it takes a bit but I mean I will be able to keep it there or at least I will remove it and put it back in a bottle uh, to, for reusing next time. Uh, so this is what it looks like um, and let me try to fi fix this to the chain and then to go through the motion so that you can see uh, how it goes. So basically just clamp it over there. Then you rotate the chain uh, like you would be soft pedaling. Okay, let's stop there. So if we look now, first of all, I didn't put anything on the floor. There is no, you know, visible uh, drips. And normally when I do it uh, link by link, it's full. It's full of things falling on the floor. Uh, and now you can see uh, the amount of, uh, of wax. It seems to be everywhere in the different chain links and seems to be a much more uniform. Um, so for me, um, looks quite good and of course we can continue to, uh, to make it penetrate. One of the things they say that you could do is put it on a cross chain for, uh, so on the big, big chain rings and so that uh, the chain is, is uh, stretching a little bit on the side and this will help to open up the links and let the wax come in. So that's an, a way you can probably improve the penetration of the wax. Of course, uh, waxing a chain, it's not something you can do just before riding. It needs to, uh, to dry. So it needs to be done 12 to 24 hours before riding. So now the weekend is over here in Kuwait. So I'm, I will be riding probably only like in two days. So um, that's why I'm doing this right now. 
Uh, of course, uh, probably uh, it's better to remove the excess wax, otherwise it will just go away as you, uh, as you pedal. Um, but uh, the most important thing is that now I, I believe there is much more wax inside the links than this dripping because I found that uh, the, the drivetrain became quite noisy even after a single ride, so maybe 100 kilometers and already you you can hear, uh, you can't hear the metal, but you hear some noise. I'm, I'm just looking forward to see now with this new process of uh, applying the wax with uh, the cyclone, how it will go. And as you can see uh, inside the tool, there's still a lot left. So I will probably put that in a different bottle, not to contaminate the other wax I have, uh, but I'm, um, you know, probably can use uh, uh, the, the same for a number of times now. Uh, and adding just a little bit more from the bottle uh, and uh, slowly getting the, uh, you know, the chain uh, with better quantity of wax inside the link. So I hope this was useful. Uh, again, I don't have any scientific method of measuring the impact of what I've been doing um, and to see if it's better or not. But uh, somehow I felt that, you know, the the drip and just rubbing my fingers was not something very effective to get the wax inside. I think what I did, and again, we can see the chain, uh, is probably much, much better in terms of uh, getting more wax uh, onto into the, the roller. Okay, so thank you for watching. I hope it was helpful. Uh, if you want to try it, of course, you probably have to dedicate an old cyclone or any other uh, chain washing tool to uh, to do that because now with the wax in i think it's uh, it's probably not a good idea to to put some degreaser after that so um but uh, for me i think it's worth it and i hope you will enjoy it as well and it will make your drivetrain last even longer i mean you know what wax is supposed to do is to keep your uh your drivetrain uh healthy for a long long period and uh, of course, we all want that first to spend money on other things uh, like kits or helmets or shoes. Uh, but at the same time, uh, with you know the sparsity of the different uh, parts, uh, we need to also kind of keep those we have as long as possible. Um, so uh, yeah, see you.